Hello there, I'm Christine Bentley in studio with Kate Wheeler and, of course, Chris Abel. Hi. And mm -hmm. we are going to talk about this story that we talked about earlier. Yeah, we talked, I, I'm, because, you know, my oh. family's in Australia, so I was, like, I monitor what, what cool, happens yeah. down there regularly, and they were all commenting on, like, <laughs> way to go, Sheila! Although her name isn't Sheila, it's Alana Pierce, and they thought I might be interested in it because she was on the radio, yeah. and a radio host, too. So now tell us exactly what she did. I read it out. I read. I couldn't read out the first comment no, that the no. yeah. posted, but I came close. Well, <laughs> well, first let me introduce you to Alana Pierce. Uh, she is a video game reviewer, so she reviews video games, and she does this for a couple of radio stations in Brisbane, Australia, mm -hmm. uh, Triple J one hundred two point one FM. Ooh. And uh, just to give you a sense of what her job is, so she goes on the air on the radio, like where we are, and she talks about the latest video games. Here is a bit of her review of a really cool game called Alien Isolation. This is a game based on the Ridley Scott movie starring Sigourney Weaver, except in the video game you play Sigourney Weaver's daughter going off into outer space to try to find out what happened to your mom. And it's a really good game, but uh, I wanted to share with you her comments. So here's Alana Pierce talking about that. They made this game that isn't about, like they could have made it about a, a much or a white dude with guns taking down alien. Like the movies are kind of like that. But they didn't. They made it this engineer woman who is searching for her mother who's been missing for 15 years powerless and still tell a really, really important story and have a lot of effect on you. So, really cool reviewer, uh, very intelligent commentary, and she does this on the radio, and then she also has a YouTube channel. And so what's interesting is that uh, she gets a lot of feedback, and especially being a woman talking about mm -hmm. this, you get some negative feedback. Where she was getting really disturbing mm -hmm. comments, death threats, threats about rape, though, was oddly enough coming to her through her Facebook account. Uh, you expect it possibly through Twitter, you expect it through YouTube, where people can be anonymous. Facebook, that's an odd location to kind of get it. And so when she checked into her Facebook account, she got really disturbing messages. Messages uh, saying, I'm going to rape you. Uh, messages using the C word. Very, very kind of aggressive and hostile. And in her initial thoughts was that this was men, because that often is the case online. But because they were coming from Facebook, the surprising thing is that these people weren't anonymous. She could click on their names <coughs> and see exactly who they were. And she was surprised to find that these were actually boys, that these were very young teenage boys. And realizing that she now knew who they were, there's this opportunity to do something about it. She debated about it, and she thought, you know, maybe I'll reach out to their schools because that information is on their account, but thought better to go after um, the mothers to send out a message and make them aware of what their little boys are doing. Surpri surprising, isn't it? it? Well, yeah, it's like, I'm going to tell you, Mom. <laughs> did she warn them? Uh, well, the way that she did it was she wrote a message to, there were four mothers, so there were four little boys, and, and hopefully they're all kind of know each other, because sometimes that happens, mm -hmm. right? You get peer pressure, hey, look what I did, and then others start to follow. So she wrote to each of the four mothers, and this is the thing, if you're thinking of trying this yourself, it didn't exactly go easy, because she sent out the messages and then heard nothing. And the messages were very simple. Uh, she just simply initially contacted each mother and said, is this person your son? I just want to confirm that. And time passed. And then it took four months. So really? Recently, four months. And the reason be because of that is that she's not actually connected to the Facebook accounts. She's not one of the Facebook friends of these mothers. So it's a, a sort of an outside message coming in, and there is a, a an inbox called, marked other. And if you don't know to oh, check right, that. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I've got some interesting messages in yeah. there every now and again. <laughs> yeah. like, what the heck is that? And some people ignore that. So mm -hmm. it took four months for one mother to check that inbox and to see this message, and she wrote back and said, yes, that is my son. So uh, I'll read you what uh, how Alana <laughs> Pierce handled this. I thought it was very well done. She says, uh, I have never spoken to your son before, but he sent me a concerning message to my public Facebook page today that I was wondering if you might be interested in discussing with him. And of course, as soon as uh, the mother saw this rape threat, just you know, shocked and said, oh my, uh, yes, of course, I will talk to him. Okay, she apologized, I'm so sorry, and then she called her son a little S-word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little bleep, I'm going to uh, be talking to him, and I've got, I've got to bet he did get a good talking to. I'm sure he did, And yeah. so were they all friends, so then did that mother then contact the other mothers? Or? So we don't know the rest of the story, so okay. uh, Alana has kind of left it at that, and in fact, I would play, I, I thought she might talk about this on a radio show, and she hasn't, and that may be a smart move. 
And, and so that's why I played you that clip of her review, just to give you a sense of what she's like. But the hope, I would think, is that probably all four boys are related, and hopefully the, now that one mother knows, maybe there'll be phone calls to the other three, and then something can be done to correct their, their behavior. Well, what I liked about the, the, the mother's reaction was, you know, how many times have we seen parents, despite the fact that they know their kid has done something wrong, they automatically defend. You know, the mother right. bear comes out. I mean, this she apologized. She, you know, made it plain that the child was going to be spoken to and that this was not behavior to be tolerated and certainly not on a public post. I mean, I don't get what even young kids do not get about this stays up there forever. Right. And, you know, universities check, jobs check. They, have, they hire people now to go online and see what's on your Twitter, see what's on your Facebook. People have lost their jobs. They don't get university placements. I mean, this is all out there. Look what happened to the Republican assistant. Not only did she lose her job for trashing the president's, uh, U.S. president's daughters and their appearance at the turkey pardoning, but social media managed to find out that she was charged with shoplifting, you know, back there, and they put her mugshot up online. So, I mean, you don't want to get into this kind of mess. Otherwise, your career is Yeah, I mean, curtailed. obviously, uh, yeah, that, that would speak to the fact that they're young boys and they just don't mm -hmm. get it. And, you know, I mean, if you're going to say something like that, I mean, to, to have your name attached to it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you were really bright... Well, I'm really uh, impressed with the way that Alana handled yes. this because, and uh, the way the mother did too. Yeah, well, because generally when you get these kinds of comments, the the, the standard reaction is to just block them, uh, which is fine, and and generally do not engage or respond to trolls because that's exactly what they're looking for. Um, but I thought in this case she was sort of pointing out one, the severity of the language was something that yes, a mother should know about it. It's not just them you know, sounding mm -hmm. off and doing nasty comments or insults, they're threats. But also, as Kate pointed out, Alana was being considerate towards the boys, that this is online, they need to understand that this kind of behavior can follow them, and definitely by reaching out to, to mom, then there's a chance that she can kind of correct that before things get so bad that they, they regret it.